guess it's about time to begin the service. I want to say we appreciate those that's come out. Just get in tonight. Obey the Lord. Stand this time to invite his presence in our midst. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, do thank you, Lord, for this another opportunity. You blessed us once again to be able to assemble together in your house, Lord. We pray you bless souls tonight, Lord, that need a touch in their bodies. Pray for those that are lost and undone without you, Lord. I pray that you bless in this service, Lord. Conduct as you see fit, Lord, under the direction of the sweet Holy Ghost. In Jesus' perfect name, amen. Tis a sweet and glorious love that comes to me. I'll live on, yes, I'll live on. Jesus saved my soul from death and now I'm free. I'll live on, yes, I'll live on.
love the Lord goes ahead, leaves whatever he tied. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home and left, ever to rejoice. When in valleys low I look toward the mountain high, and behold my Savior there leading in the front, with a tender hand outstretched toward the valley low, guiding me I can see as I onward go. upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice cares all past home and left ever to rejoice when before me billows rise from the mighty deep then the Lord directs my bark, he does safely keep. And he leads me gently on through this world below. He's a real friend to me, oh, I love him so, bless so. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. There's no past, home and left, ever to rejoice. Upon our spanless ocean, where mighty pillows roll, I fix my hope in Jesus, bless anchor of my soul. When trials pierce the sail, me as storms are gathering o'er, I rest upon His mercy and trust Him more. I've anchored in Jesus, the storms of life I'll brave. I've anchored in Jesus, I fear no wind or wave. I've anchored in Jesus, for He hath power to save. I've anchored in the rock of ages. He keeps my soul from evil and gives me blessed peace. His voice has still the waters and been their turtle seas. My pilot and deliverer, to Him I all confide. For always when I need him, he's at my side. I've anchored in Jesus, the storms of life I'll brave. I've anchored in Jesus, I fear no wind or wave. I've anchored in Jesus, for he hath power to save. I've anchored in the rock of My friend and Savior, in Him my anchors cast. He drives away my sorrows and shields me from the blast. By faith I'm looking upward beyond life's troubled sea. There I can hold a haven prepared for me. I've anchored in Jesus, the storms of life I'll brave. I've anchored in Jesus, I fear no wind or wave. I've anchored in Jesus, for he hath power to save. I've anchored in the rock of ages. There is an unseen hand to me. That leads to ways I cannot see while going through 
this hand still leads me as I go. I'm trusting to the unseen hand that guides me through. No, not 
not one And yet no friend is so meek and lowly No, not one No, not one Jesus knows all about our struggles He will guide till the day is done There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus No, not one no, not one. There's not an air that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. No, not so dark, but his love can cheer us. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Did ever saint find this friend forsake him. No, not one. No, not one. Or sinner find that he would not take him. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles he will guide till the day is done there's not a friend like the lowly jesus no not one no not one was there a gift like the savior given no, not one, no, not one. Will he refuse us a home in heaven? No, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done there's not a friend like the lowly jesus no not one no not one well i struggled with oh satan's myth my life would never change from a broken heart as things grew dark i called on jesus name now i must confess my soul's at rest satan better heed this warning well god said it's time the victory's mine joy's gonna come in the morning oh hallelujah i hear the voice of the lord joy's gonna come in the morning the sun's going to shine, it's just about time. Joy's going to come in the morning. The devil has lost the battle. He can't hold back the dawning. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy's going to come in the morning. Well, you fought the fight, stood the night. The darkness seemed so long, but you held on to the power you knew, and it has made you strong. No stopping now by faith somehow, you'll see that light of dawning in the eastern sky. Yeah, by and by, joy's going to come in the morning. Oh, hallelujah, I hear the voice of the Lord. Joy's going to come in the morning. The sun's going to shine. It's just about time. Joy's going to come in the morning. The
the devil has lost the battle. He can't hold back the dawning. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy is going to come in the morning. Yeah, I struggle with those Satan Smith. My life would never change. From a broken heart, as things grew dark, I called on Jesus' name. Well, I must confess my soul's at rest. Satan better heed this warning. Well, God said it's time. The victory's mine. So it's going to come in the morning. Oh, hallelujah. I hear the voice of the Lord. Joy's going to come in the morning. The sun's going to shine. It's just about time. Joy's going to come in the morning. The devil has lost the battle. He can't hold back the dawning. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy's going to come in the morning. Well, we fought the fight. We've stood the night. The darkness seems so long, but we've held on to the power we knew, and it has made us strong. No stopping now by faith somehow. We'll see that light of dawning in the eastern sky. Yeah, by and by, joy's going to come in the morning. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I hear the voice of the Lord. Joy's going to come in the morning. The sun's going to shine. It's just about time. Joy's going to come in the morning. The devil has lost the battle. He can't hold back the dawning. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy's going to come in the morning. Many times I'm bowed beneath my heavy load. And on bending knees a prayer to God I pray. And as I knelt there on the floor, he reminded me once more that the answer was already on its way. Oh, yes, the answer's on its way. This I know. Jesus said it, I believe it, and it's so. Our Heavenly Father knows our knees before we pray. So you can rest assured the answer's on its way. There's a special need within your life, my friend. And you're seeking for an answer every day. If by faith you start believing, Pretty soon you'll be receiving, for the answer is already on its way. Oh yes, the answer's on its way, this I know. Jesus said it, I believe it, and it's so blessed the Lord. Our Heavenly Father knows our knees before we pray. So you can rest assured the answer's on its way. If there's a special need within your life, my friend, and you're seeking for an answer every day, if by faith you start believing, pretty soon you'll be receiving, for the answer is already on its way. Oh, yes, the answer's on its way. This I know. Jesus said it, I believe it, and it's so. Thank you, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father knows our needs before we pray. So you can rest assured the answer's on its way. Well, a man came unto Jesus, said, Lord, I want to be healed. My body's all full of sore. Oh, my Lord, I want to live. Well, Jesus reached out and touched him, and his sickness went away. Just like he healed that man that day, he'll take your pain away. Oh, there's power, so much power. Oh, there's power in the name, in 
the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in His name. Well, if you really know that the Lord has brought you through, well, you ought to stand upon your feet and tell the world I'm a witness to. Well, you ought to clap them hands. Tell the world there is no doubt. Through all of my trouble and trials, it was Jesus that brought me out. Oh, there's power, so much power. Oh, there's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in his name. A man came unto Jesus, said, Lord, I want to be healed. My body's all full of sore. Oh, but Lord, I want to be well, Jesus reached out and touched him, and his sickness went away. Just like he healed that man that day, he'll take your sin away. There's power, so much power. Oh, there's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in His name. Oh, there's power, so much power. Oh, there's power in the name, in the name of Jesus. There's power, so much power. There's power in His name. God for that power tonight, amen. Amen. There's power in that name, Jesus. I'm glad to know where my strength comes from. Amen. It ain't from an energy drink. It ain't from a pill. Amen. It ain't from no kind of bottle. It's from the Lord. Amen. When I'm weak, He is strong. Amen. When I have come to the place in my life where I don't know which way to go, he's my direction. Amen. I do love him tonight. I appreciate him. Amen. I thought, uh, I say this and I'll get out of the way, but I thought as this year's drawing to an end, 
You know, a lot of people has labeled this year a, a bad year. It's just been horrible all around. And I know there's a lot went on this year. Amen. And I know we've lost loved ones. Uh, we buried my Aunt Cricket and uh, Brother Jim went on to be with the Lord and Sister Zouane's gone and the countless others that's left here. Amen. But you know, if you look back on this year, it was still good to know the Lord. Amen. Amen. Even though this year might have been bad in some ways, I feel that I got closer amen, to the Lord. I feel like I, amen, got a little higher upon the mountain, if you will. Amen. I thank God for that, amen. I thank God, even though in the chaos and the confusion and the hurt and the pain and all the dread, we can still lift up our head to the, the Bible said lift up our eyes unto the hills from which come our help. For our help comes from the Lord. It may have been a rough year for you, but you're still blessed. Amen. We're blessed tonight, church. Amen. We love you tonight. Amen. I'm going to try to sing He is Lord. I ain't do my best at it. He is Lord. I ain't going to do my best at it. I ain't keep you too long, just as long as the Lord is moving. Amen. I'm with it. Praise God. For he is Lord, he has risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, for He is Lord, He is Lord, oh He has risen from the dead and He is Lord, every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, for He is Lord, yes, He is Lord, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, for He is Lord, He is Lord, yes, He is Lord. Oh, He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. For He is Lord, oh, He is Lord. Yes, He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, He is Lord. Yes, He is Lord. Oh, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess.
confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, He is Lord. Yes, He is Lord. Oh, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Yes, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess oh that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, He is Lord. Yes, He is Lord. Oh, He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Yes, He is. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess oh that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen just lift your hands toward heaven praise his holy name tonight there's None other like the Lord. Thank God tonight and all that He's done for us and all the many blessings that He has shared upon us. Amen. Surely tonight His name is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. This evening I praise you, I honor you. I magnify you, Lord, this evening. Pray that your will, Lord, would be done tonight, Lord. We give you praise. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be unto the Lamb of God forevermore. Amen. Praise God. He dwells in the praises of His people. Thank God tonight. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place tonight. Amen. He's sure to meet every need, whatever that your need may be this evening. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? There's nothing too hard for him, is there? Amen. Tonight, amen, he suffered in the body. Amen. He, uh, amen, bore the sins of the whole world. Amen. Took the uh, beating up on his back. Amen. As they no doubt, amen, took that cat of nine tails. They say in that time, amen, I read that they would have soldiers that was trained for the purpose of, uh, giving a lashing to the prisoner, amen, and they know how to yank that wheel and pull the flesh, amen, from the back of the victim. But I, uh, the Lord took that beating at the whipping post by the stripes that he took. We are healed. Can you say amen tonight? Amen. Not only, amen, can he heal you spiritually, he can heal you physically, financially, mentally, whatever that your need may be tonight. Amen. If you need it, God's got it. Praise God this evening. Amen. If you need a touch in your body tonight, amen, you may, amen, whatever your need may be, He is a supplier of all our needs according to His riches, which are in glory tonight. I don't want to ever look to a man, amen, to put my hope or trust in man solely. Amen. It's my Savior, my Savior, run. A reign supreme tonight, amen. He is the Lord, amen. He is the Messiah. He is the I am uh, that I am. Praise God that came and uh, bled and died and gave his life and rose again that we could have uh, this privilege that we have tonight that we can call him Father, amen. For he is our Father tonight and he looks down upon us and he knows our every need tonight. And the Bible said if we would ask in faith, believe it and doubt not, we should receive that that we ask for, amen. And 
if we ask in faith and trust, believe in God, I believe we'll see results. Don't you, amen, tonight. Uh, the devil may say, God ain't done nothing for you, and I'll say, devil, you're a liar. Amen, for I was lost in sin, the greatest sickness, amen, uh, that a man could ever have is sin sickness. They talk about COVID, and it is bad, and it is real, but I want to tell you about an epidemic that's crossing the world tonight that they don't talk about, and that's a sin sickness, amen, uh, that's gripped the life of many people tonight and many have forgot God and many don't even recognize his name but I give all praise and honor unto the Lord this evening thank God I can lift up my hands without wrath or doubting or any such thing and give praise and honor unto the Lord amen and tonight amen if we give praise unto him I believe amen if our heart and our hands are clean before him uh, that he'll receive that and in return Amen. He'll open the windows of heaven and share the blessings. Of, amen. Upon our life that are so great that we cannot even contain it. It will be uh, so great. Amen. That will spill over in our life, and someone else, no doubt, will. Uh, amen. See that, and it'll affect them if they will let it in a good way. Can you say, Amen? Praise the Lord. I appreciate you tonight. We're in a spiritual battle tonight. Amen, I believe. Amen, it's Satan right now in these last hours of time that he is trying to discourage and discomfort everyone that he can. Amen, there's so much turmoil in the land today. Amen, and so many people feel uncertain about the times, but I am certain of one thing. God is God. He will never change, and He still sits up on the throne, and He's still in control. Can you say amen tonight? Amen. The earth and the fullness are all. They are the Lord's, and He gives accordingly as He sees fit. Can you say amen? Amen. It don't matter tonight how high man may go in the ranks of this world. Amen. Tonight there's one that sits at the head. Amen. And His name is Jesus Christ, the Son of of the living God. Praise God tonight. Oh, I appreciate the Lord. I was thinking there in the Bible after, amen, that God had delivered His people after 430 years of bondage in Egypt. And, amen, He sent Moses and Aaron down with a message for the Pharaoh to let my people go that they may go yonder and worship me. And, amen, Pharaoh's heart was hardened, amen, but God sent the plagues upon Egypt, uh, amen, and it come down to the last plague, uh, amen, and I thought how that God gave his people instructions, uh, amen, that they would take uh, a firstling of the flock, a male without blemish, uh, amen, and, and to offer it, I believe that was an offering and a foreshadow of what was to come, uh, amen, it was called the Passover, uh, amen, they took that lamb, and, amen, they put it upon the coals of the fire. It wasn't even to be boiled. I, amen. It was to be roasted. I, I believe God, amen, is very detailed in what He wants and expects of our life. Just any old thing won't do. Amen. There's a song that used to go like this. 99.9 uh, .9 won't do. 99 and a half won't do. I'll say 99.9 .9 won't do. Can you say amen tonight? But I believe if we give 100 percent of our effort unto the Lord amen that he'll take the feeble work of our hands and he will bless it amen and anoint it amen and we can see the results uh, amen of God working in the life of his people uh, uh, praise the Lord I can't heal you tonight I can't solve your problems uh, amen there's a lot I cannot do but I know who can hallelujah uh, I said I know who can and I put my trust and confidence in him amen and I say even though in the flesh I may be very limited in what I can do but I put my trust in God and there's nothing he cannot do I praise the Lord tonight he can open the blinded 
eyes. He can cause the deaf ear that has never heard a sound. Amen. To be open and to hear. Amen. He can cause the limbs that never function properly to begin to move. He can cleanse the leper. Amen. Of a disease that in olden times was a sure sentence of death. Amen. But Jesus. Amen. I thought I, was, I heard a man talking there where Jesus reached out to touch the leper in that time. Amen. It was unlawful to touch one with leprosy. But Jesus spoke the word, Be thou clean. And he reached out and touched that man. And his leprosy was cleansed. Amen. One day I was lost in the sins of the wretched state of sin. Amen. And he spoke of the words of deliverance over me and I was set free thank God and I stand here tonight amen completely and totally delivered by the mighty power of God hallelujah oh yes but we're in a raging battle tonight the forces of good and the forces of evil are battling amen and I know who is going to win those that stay true to God Amen. Those that stand for the word of God and would not compromise. Those, amen, uh, they're not afraid to be counted as a child of God. Can you say tonight, thank God, I feel honored to be called Amen, a child of God tonight. Amen, they may scoff and mock and amen, scorn and look down upon me and count me as nothing. Amen, but as long as I've got Christ in my life, amen, I'm more than a millionaire, more than a billionaire. Amen, they have a list of the most richest people in the world. Amen, there's a lot. Don't make that list, amen. But I can tell you one thing tonight my father owns everything the cattle of a thousand hills they are the Lord's amen I've taught tonight I've drove down the road before and looked at beautiful farm land amen the cattle out there grazing upon the green grass and I thought Lord how beautiful that is but you made it all amen some man may say that's mine amen but I wonder how many realizes if it hadn't been for the Lord amen and they wouldn't have nothing, amen. Uh, they wouldn't have clothes to put on their back. Uh, they wouldn't have shoes to wear on their feet. Uh, wouldn't have a good bed to sleep in. Uh, a roof over their head. Uh, transportation to get about. Come on, church, amen. Uh, I thought tonight, church, he is so good. Uh, amen. And I, uh, I want to think of the most smallest, littlest thing that I can think of and say, thank you, Lord. Uh, amen. Tonight, you can move in little or you can move in much. Amen. But tonight, you can move, amen, like no other. Can you give praise unto the Lord tonight? Amen. When the body is racked with pain, amen, and it don't feel like you can take another step. But yet, there is a zeal, desire, determination that God has put in the heart and life of every believer, I believe, to press on and endure. Amen. Whatever may come our way. For if we endure it to the end, I will be saved. Amen. From the very pits of hell. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God. You know, I do know this. Hell was not prepared for God's creation. It was prepared for the devil. And those, amen, that followed him when he was cast out of heaven, he had enough influence that he drew a third part of the angels with him. Amen. When he fell, amen, tonight, if he could draw a third part of the angels out of heaven with him, if he had that much deception and influence, uh, uh, tonight it seems like he's got a lot deceived here also upon this earth. Uh, amen. That they're running right after him to do his work. Uh, uh, but yet God has got a chosen few tonight. Uh, can you say praise the Lord? Uh, I want to be one that's called, amen, a peculiar person. Uh, amen. I believe that's a uh, amen called out and set apart. 
heart for the work of God. A peculiar people. Amen. God's people are different people. They don't desire the things of this world. They're not looking for satisfaction in material things. Amen. Because they're satisfied with the blessings of God tonight. Amen. But the Bible also said this. Fear not, little flock. For it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And what more could we ask for tonight? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was amen, listening to the Bible. And I like to listen, you know, to the Bible. And amen. You can't get enough of it. Hallelujah. It's so precious and wonderful and uplifting. Amen. But I thought when the plagues of Egypt were being poured out down in the land of Goshen, everything was all right. Can you say amen? And I can say this tonight. There's trouble in the world, but in the Lord, everything's still all right. Praise the Lord. There may be much discouragement in the world. Amen. Me and me look with uncertainty, wondering of what's coming. But I'm saying the Lord, I've got confidence that all is well. Can you say tonight, all is well in the Lord. Praise God tonight. Jesus said in this world you will have tribulation. Amen. There will be trouble in the world. But he said in me you shall have peace. There's a peace that he gives. Amen. That mortal man cannot understand. Praise God. Men and women of valor, they stood up. They were counted. Amen. Many knew that it was certain death to take a stand for the truth, to take a stand for what was right. Amen. We've got a lot of cowards in the world, a lot of cowards. They talk big until it's time to stand up. Then they run away. Come on, church. Help us, Lord. Amen. But the Lord is looking for a few that will stand and fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Can you say amen tonight? He's looking for a few tonight. It don't take many, just a few. Amen. Under the hand of God to do the work of the Lord. Amen. It would be good if people were willing to work, but not many are in this day and hour we live within. There's not many willing to pay the price. Amen. Tonight I thought, amen, as a disciple of the Lord, we must count the cost. Amen. Every day is not going to be rosy for us. Amen. It's not going to always be mountaintops in our lives. There's going to be valleys to walk through. Amen. But I can say he's in the valley just as well as he is on the mountaintop. Amen. Amen. When we're pressing against a brick wall in our life, trying to break through to the other side. Amen. The enemy is there to discourage us. Amen. Every step of the way. But the Lord, amen, if we'll reach up, amen, he's reaching down. He'll take our hand and He'll lead us through whatever uh, that we may face in this life. Yes, the battle's raging. Uh, yes, tonight, amen, that many, uh, amen, have faltered. And many, uh, amen, have turned back from following the Lord. They said, I just can't do it. Uh, amen, I just can't do this. Uh, uh, in ourselves, we can't, but by the help of the Lord, uh, amen, we can make it. Can you say amen tonight? Uh, in everything that I do or say, I want to say if it's God's will. Huh? Amen. If the Lord be with me. Huh? Amen. If the Lord will give me the strength and the courage to stand. Huh? Amen. Tonight I know amen. Good intentions. Huh? I thought tonight one time uh, amen we was preaching a message and Lord give you a word. Huh? Amen. In that message amen good intentions won't get you to heaven. Huh? Amen. Good intentions won't get me there Jonathan. Huh? Amen. I got to put those words into action. Huh? Amen. If I said amen, I'll stand no matter what. I believe no doubt Satan will come at me to see if he can drag me down and get me to amen and raise my hands and say, I just can't do it. But I can say this tonight. Amen. I know what I can't do, but I know what he can do. Amen. The word is filled, amen, but filled with hope and encouragement. And amen. Amen tonight. Uh, the Lord 
has sent us a word uh, to edify us uh, and let us know uh, if we'll hold true that he'll be there for us. In the heat of the battle, he'll be there. When we feel all alone, he'll be there. When it seems no one else understands, uh, the Lord understands uh, every situation and he knows all about it. Uh, and not only does he have compassion upon you, uh, but he has the power to deliver you uh, and to set you free. Praise the Lord. Amen. David said, Amen. It said, David, the Bible said to the Philistines, Thou comest to me, the old Philistine was Goliath. Amen. That we're talking about there. Amen. The Philistine. Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. I'm not going to tell you tonight that Satan has no power. He does have some power. Amen. He has the power that God has let him have. Amen. Tonight he has power to deceive. He has power tonight over many people. Amen. To cause them to be disillusioned and think, hey Amen. That they can do this, that, and the other, and they'll be all right. But I can say this tonight, hey Amen. I'm not listening to the devil. I'm listening to for the voice of God. Hey Amen. I'm listening to what thus saith the Word of God. I pray God tonight, hey Amen. In my limited ability, hey Amen. Tonight, and what that I know where I can thank Him myself. I pray for the influence of the sweet Holy Ghost uh, over my life, my soul and my very spirit uh, uh, to Lord to teach me and instruct me Lord uh, Amen. And let me know your will Lord uh, and give me the courage to do that that I know is right uh, and please it in your sight come on now church uh, Amen there's one thing about it uh, you may be in situations in your life sometimes you wonder who's going to stand with me uh, I can tell you this tonight uh, uh, Jesus will stand by your side. Uh, amen. He will hold your hand. Uh, he will comfort you in your distress, in your discouragement. Uh, he'll be there as that light in the darkness. Can you say amen tonight? Uh, he'll be there to touch you uh, and let you know. Uh, amen. That with him in your life, uh, everything will be all right. Even when it seems that it won't be all right. Uh, with the Lord in your life. Everything will be just fine. You know, Jonathan, I thought about there in the scripture where Jesus was in the boat with the disciples and there come a storm upon the water. They were fearful. They were afraid. Amen, that they were going to drown. You would think how in the world could they be in such a state of mind knowing that Jesus was on board that ship. Amen. Come on, church. Amen, but I thought tonight the weaknesses of the flesh. Amen, if we depend upon the flesh, we'll be defeated. Can you say amen tonight? Amen, if we de depend upon the flesh and listen to the fleshly man, amen, he will cause us to be afraid and be discouraged. And, amen, even tell us that we cannot. When the Lord said we can by his help, I, amen, I thought how, amen, they did one thing right. They went to Jesus, amen, in the hinder part of the ship. I, he was asleep there taking rest. I, and they woke him. They said, Master, care not that we perish. I, he didn't get up and say, boys, uh, amen, look what I can do here. He said, oh, you a little faith. Uh, uh, where did you doubt? Uh, amen. Come on now, church. Uh, amen. Oh, ye of little faith. Uh, amen. He rebuked them, didn't he? Uh, amen. He corrected them. Uh, he wanted them to realize, uh, amen, that by his name, by his presence, uh, by the word that was spoken, uh, that they could see the hand of God move. Hallelujah. He wants us to realize the power that he has invested within us tonight. Huh? Amen. James said if we submit ourselves to God, if we turn it all over to the Lord, if we give him our all in all, then we have the power to resist the devil. And the Bible said he will flee from you. Hallelujah. He cannot stand ground where the word of God has been spoken with authority. Amen tonight. Well, David said to the Goliath, the Philistine, 
Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. Amen. You have a, amen, a great sword in your hand. Amen. That can wreak destruction. That can be sure death. Amen. There's one, amen, that may carry the spear that you use. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. It was a spear. Amen. That was to be marveled at. Amen. I thought tonight the Bible tells us and he had one that went before him carrying his shield. <laughs> Amen. This man looked in. Amen. Invincible, didn't he? <laughs> Amen. He could come out on the brow of the hill and challenge, uh, Amen, the men of the Israelite army and cause them to quake in fear. <laughs> Amen. Just in his presence. <laughs> oh, but there was a little boy that had experience with God. <laughs> he had seen the hand of God move. <laughs> Amen. When the line come down <laughs> out of the darkness. Amen. <laughs> hey, to wreak havoc upon his flock. <laughs> Uh, the spirit of the Lord come upon that little fella. Uh, I believe he'd rise up and there was a confidence that come within him uh, like he had never experienced, amen, before. Uh, amen, that he would even as much as go, uh, amen, and take that line by the mane and slay it. Uh, Will somebody to say, we call it a son of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah, yes, sir. Uh, God gave him so much boldness, uh, amen, that he would even come close enough uh, uh, to grab that old uh, uh, big cat by the mane. Uh, amen. And slay it there. Uh, amen. The bear come down. Uh, amen. Among the flock. Uh, amen. To wreak havoc. Uh, amen. I believe the spirit of the Lord began to move upon that. Uh, amen. That little shepherd boy. Uh, amen. God was uh, amen, encouraging him and instilling confidence in him. Uh, amen. That no matter how great the foe may seem. Amen. With the anointing the power of God in one's life. Amen. That you shall prevail. Can somebody not say I shall prevail? In the name of the Lord I shall prevail. Amen. Even though the armies of the world would be encamped about me. Amen. If God be for me, who can be against me? Amen. Come on now, church. Amen. If all the world turned against us and we got God on our side, we shall overcome. I said we shall overcome. Amen. We are not defeated tonight. Let me tell you this this evening. You already know it. But we are more than conquerors through Christ. which strengthen in us. Amen. Tonight, but you must speak that word. You can know it, but you must put it into action and say, Lord, I'm standing on the promise of your word. I'm believing in what you said. Amen. A church, you can know the word, but have you ever tried the word? Amen. To see. Amen. If you could stand up on it and overcome, and I know you have. His word is sure tonight. It is steadfast from everlasting unto everlasting. Hallelujah. And it cannot be changed. Your confidence is in your armor and your weapon. My confidence is in God. Praise the Lord. You could put your confidence in things, amen, that are only temporal. Amen. But I put my confidence amen in the power of God amen and he had confidence amen Lord how mercy the Lord is able to deliver me amen I could just see David stand before Saul amen maybe to say Saul amen don't fear my God delivered me amen from the mouth of a lion he delivered me from the paw of a bear hallelujah he can deliver me ha 
Uh, amen. For this uncircumcised Philistine. Uh, can you say amen tonight? Uh, and Saul, amen, uh, uh, persuaded him to take his armor, uh, uh, Saul's armor, and put it on. Uh, and David tried it on and he took it off. He said, it's not been proven. Uh, Lord, have mercy. To, uh, amen. The Bible said last sight never weighed in the sin uh, that does so easily beset you. Sin we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. I want to get it right. Let us lay aside every weight in the sin that does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience uh, of the race that is set before us. Uh, looking unto Jesus, uh, the author and the finisher of our faith. Uh, amen. God help us this evening. Uh, amen. Knowing what he was going to suffer. Uh, amen. On God off the seal. Uh, knowing the sufferings that amen that he would bear in his body. Uh, knowing the shame that he would endure. Uh, uh, but yet he was willing uh, to go all the way for us. Uh, and that we could have the victory in Jesus. Uh, uh, tonight if you ain't got victory uh, you can have victory in the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, if you found bound down and chained. Uh, amen. I know the man tonight. Uh, amen. That can break off the chains of bondage uh, and set you free uh, and give you hope and strength and encouragement within your life. Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel whom thou hast denied amen thou hast defied amen thou hast defied you cursed you stood on the brow of that hill and you challenged no doubt the captains of the armies that were encamped on the other side of the valley amen to send a man and fight with you Amen. I may not look like the chosen one. Amen. But God chooses the weak things to confound the wise and those with strength and those that put their confidence in things other than God. I can say this tonight in all the squabbling and all the arguing and all the fussing and everything that's all the hatred and everything that's going on in the world I already know who's going to win. I already know who's going to win. Amen. Come on church tonight. Amen. Come on. Amen. I thought, amen, in war, amen, the soldiers might lose a few battles, but it comes down to who wins the war, amen, can you say amen tonight, there may be a few battles where, amen, the soldier might get a little discouraged, amen, looking at the aftermath, amen, of what went on there, but it matters who stays true and fights to the very end, and church by the help of God I want to be one of them amen it'll stand there no doubt among the ranks of the battle scarred soldiers amen that fought the battle stood true to God wouldn't back down wouldn't compromise wouldn't cave stood up proclaimed the truth cried loud and spared not that the Lord will look at them and say I am well pleased with you Amen. I want to be, amen, accepted of him. The world may not accept me, but that don't matter. I want to be accepted of the Lord. Amen. I strive to be pleasing in his sight. I want to be ever mindful of his ways. Oh, yes, amen. Little David, he, on his journey to meet that champion of the Philistine army, he stopped down at the brook. Amen on his way. And he chose five smooth stones. Five smooth stones. Church, amen. I believe the Lord was directing him what to do every step of the way. Amen. I believe the Holy Ghost laid it upon him. As he went down there, amen, with his 
this little sling. Amen. That thing had more power. Amen. I believe in the one, the most powerful guns in the modern army. Amen. Come on, church. When the Holy Ghost got in his arm, amen, they ain't a pitcher, amen, in baseball. Amen. That had a strike like he had. Amen. Can you say amen? I believe, amen, they wasn't a gun. Amen. They had the velocity. Amen. To shoot a bullet. Amen. Any more lethal. Amen. And that rock coming out of that sling. Can you say amen tonight? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of the strongholds of the enemy. Amen. We don't carry the sword in vain. Oh, Lord, somebody. Tonight, say hallelujah. Amen. Listen to what the word said in 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, the Bible said, but mighty through God. Listen, that's the key right there. Mighty through God. Amen. In 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Amen. To the pulling down of strongholds. A church, the devil, amen, has fortified himself. Amen. He has strongholds. Amen. And like that song, amen, that comes to my mind. I'm going to go up and take back what the devil has stole from me. Amen. Come on, church. Maybe he ain't stole nothing from you tonight. But there is folks tonight that used to have victory in their life. Amen. They don't have that victory anymore. Amen. They used to put their trust and confidence in God. And they've let fear creep in and take the place, amen, of that confidence they once had in the Lord. Oh, Lord, how mercy. Amen. They've been through some rough times. Amen. The devil come and lied to them. And he told them God didn't care anything about them and he couldn't help them. And they listened to the lies of the devil rather than the voice of God. Amen. But tonight, let me tell you this. Amen. He hasn't lost any power, the Lord ain't. He's still the same today as he was in yesteryears. And he'll never change. Can you say amen? Amen. The saints of old. Amen. When they were sick among them, they called for the elders of the church. And they come and they anointed them with oil and prayed over them in the name of the Lord. Amen. The prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up and if they've even committed sin it shall be forgiven them can you say man this is, God is good to us he's here to help us tonight be encouraged in the more in the Lord look up tonight for your redemption draw it nigh Lord I try my best here this evening Lord is so good to us, ain't he? Amen. The Bible said the weapon that he has given us to use against the powers of the wicked one is the word, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. That's found in Ephesians 6, 17. Praise the Lord tonight. Amen. For the word of the Lord is quick. It's quick. It'll make you li alive. It'll quicken you. It's quick. Amen. Praise the Lord. And powerful. Amen. The word of the Lord is what? It's quick. Amen. The devil can't stand against it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. When the devil comes around and he's uh, trying to get... Amen. Discourage and tell you, amen. Oh, it's all bad. Everything's bad. It's all falling apart. Just look around you. Look at all those that used to be strong. Now look at them now. I say, but I, my confidence is in God. It's not in a man. Amen. My confidence is not in a man. That's where people get in trouble sometimes. Amen. They put their confidence in somebody and then they see them fail. They see them make a mistake. And they say, Amen. I'm just giving up. The one I had confidence in that one. And look what they've done. My confidence is not. I want to have confidence in man and know that he's living right. And know, Amen, that 
that, that, it, that he says and he does, amen, that it is ordained of God, amen, but my confidence is in the Lord. And if I put confidence in somebody, it's because I believe that they're truly a child of God, that they're living according to the Scripture. Paul didn't say, boys, follow me and left it there. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. There's one that goes before me, and I am following him. And you follow me because I'm just one in the line. I'm just one in the line. Amen. That's following Christ. Can you say amen tonight? I'm not the one at the front. I'm just following the leader. <laughs> oh, glory, how mercy this evening. <laughs> Take the whole, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. David went down, amen, uh, with the weapon, amen, that Goliath did not have at his disposal. Amen. He did not have the two-edged sword. He might have had a sword. Amen. But he didn't have the two-edged sword. Uh, David had the word of God to go on. Can you say amen tonight? Uh, and the Bible said, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Amen. And of the joints. And my, it's getting down deep, ain't it? Uh, amen. And the, uh, amen. And the, uh, amen. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Lord, how mercy. That's getting deep now, even to discern of the thoughts of man, the contents of his heart. God knows all, does he not? Hallelujah. Amen. And the main thing tonight, I want to come clean before God. Amen. I pray, Lord, if I've done anything, if I've said anything, if I've acted any way, I should. Lord, amen, please forgive me. Amen, I plead the power of the blood. Cover me, Lord, in your righteousness. And let your blood cleanse me and sanctify me holy. And Lord, fill me with your spirit, Lord. And put the word within my heart. Amen, that I may serve you and live pleasing unto you. And when the devil comes around, amen, I ain't going to argue with him. I'm going to put him in his place by the authority and power of the word. I'm not going to stand there, amen, and argue and fuss with him. I'm going to say, Satan, I come against you not by my power or authority, but by the power and the authority of God that is invested in me. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. Be gone from my presence in the name of Jesus. Satan battles us in our mind, but we don't have to go along with it. If you stop it here, it'll never get here. Amen. I said if you stop it here, it'll never get here. Amen. Put that helmet aside. Oh, Lord. I feel the presence of the Lord here tonight. Amen. When you got that helmet of salvation on. Amen. Somebody said, I want to pull them flaps down on my ears. Amen. That I won't even hear what the devil's saying. I'll be tuned into the voice of God. Amen. Amen. And those fiery darts, he's shooting at me. They'll be bouncing off. Amen. Praise God. Church, let me tell you tonight, we are more than conquerors. And we need to act like it. Can you say amen tonight? If God delivered you, why should you be bound? Amen. Come on now. Amen. He can meet your every need. He'll be there in the darkest hour of your life. Amen. He'll be there to encourage you and strengthen you. Oh, yes, amen. I know what David said. Maybe Jonathan was preaching the other night. Amen. He said, yea, thou walk through the valley. 
of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why, David, would you fear no evil? Because the Lord is with me. Come on now, church. Can you say the Lord is with me tonight? The Lord is with me. I'm going to take him down the road with me tonight. Amen. I'm going to take him home with me tonight. Amen. When I lay down, he's going to be there with me. When I get up in the morning, he's going to be there with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to come out of the bed praising God. Amen. Sometimes I get up and I'm moaning and I'm groaning. Amen. And, and saying, oh, my back, my back. Amen. My legs. Amen. Oh, it hurts so bad. Amen. But if I could come out there and say, praise the Lord, that I was able to, I might have been slow getting up, but I got up in the name of the Lord. Can you say amen? And I got up on my feet again. And by the help of the Lord, I'm going to go through this day declare victory in Jesus. Church, if you live in victory, if you live in the presence of victory, amen, tonight the devil cannot defeat you. Amen. If you declare victory and stand on it. Come on, church. Have you ever staked your claim and said, that is mine. If you've got a piece of land tonight, amen, there is boundaries to your land. Amen. And there's landmarks. If, I, I, amen. If you have a surveyor come out to survey your land to see what you own, he will put stakes out, markers. Amen. And that is saying this is the boundaries of your land. Amen. We need to put out some stakes and say, the devil, you ain't coming over that because, amen, this ain't your land. Can you say amen tonight? Amen, I'm the Lord's. Amen, I belong to him. Amen, can you say amen? The Lord has put a landmark in my life. Hallelujah. Can you, Lord, see the hush out on my tire? Woo, I feel him this evening. I said the Lord has put landmarks in my life. And he has declared that I'm his child. Amen. And devil, amen, you may come and you may threaten. Amen. I've thought about when Jonathan was talking about the neighbor. Amen. If they got a mean streak in them, they want to cause a little trouble and throw a little trash over on you. See how you would react to it. Amen. Come on, church. I believe sometimes the devil tries to throw a little trash over on us. Amen. To see how we're going to react. Amen. But if you stand your ground, come on now, church. Amen. Thank God tonight. Amen. Say, devil, let me tell you something. You may come at me, but you can't get in me. Amen. I've had the devil come right in my room and try to intimidate me. Amen. I can feel him pressing upon me. One night I was laying there and I, there was a presence come in my room, Jonathan. Amen. I was going through a terrible trial. Amen. I felt an old presence come over to me and press me down in the I mean literally. Press me down in that bed. Amen. Trying to make me afraid and intimidate me. Amen. I, I begin to call upon the Lord. Amen. I begin to call for my Father. Hallelujah. To come to my rescue. Amen. Thank God. And after a while, amen, that presence left that room. Amen. And I felt the peace of God come over me. Let me tell you tonight, he'll give you a peace that the world knows nothing about. They can sit around their table. Amen. And they can broker peace deals and sign papers and documents saying we're going to get along with each other, but they soon forget it. Amen. But I want to tell you one thing tonight. When the Lord gives you peace, if you hold on to it, the devil can't take that away from you. Lord, I mean, I want to give you one more scripture tonight. And they overcame him. Who is him? I believe that's the old devil himself. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Yeah. And let me read something else to you. And they love not their lives unto the death. They love not their lives unto the death. Church, I wouldn't want to hurt nobody intentionally. They 
there's one thing about it that it is even more important in my life than that. I would never want to displease God. If he gave me a word to go to someone and say to them, I come to you in peace and I come to you in the name of the Lord, but God has given me this and I've got to tell you. Amen. And knowing good and well that it may rile them and make them, amen, hate me. And if I come in the right spirit and I say, listen, I must tell you because it's laid to my charge. Amen. And I tell them what God has laid up on my heart knowing, amen, that it's God that has given it. Amen. And they reject that. Their blood will not be upon my hands. Can you say amen? When a preacher stands in the pulpit and God gives him a message that he knows that there may be someone there in the midst that will not like what is being said. But yet he delivers that message with love in his heart and he tells them the truth. And he, he cries aloud and spares not. And they reject that word. Amen. And they reject that word and they reject that calling. God is not obligated to ever give them another change. That's the danger of it. People don't realize God don't have to give us changes. God don't have to deal with us. No, He does not. He does because of His grace and His mercy. Amen. Let me tell you, the grace of God is the unmerited, undeserving, amen, mercy of God tonight. Amen. They bestowed upon me. Amen. If he was just, he would have cut me off without remedy. But thank God that his mercy was even greater than his justice. Amen. And his grace that he showed upon us. And tonight, thank God, I looked to heaven and I said, Lord, I owe it all to you. I, you don't owe me nothing. I don't even want to come before you asking for this or that. Even though, amen, that I may at times would, amen, would like to come and say, Lord, I need this. And I want that. But I come saying, Lord, whatever your will is in my life. Amen. Whatever you see best for me. It may be something I want that you said no to. And Lord, if you do not want me to have that certain thing, then I don't want it. If it's not proved to God, then I don't want it. Amen. But if it is pleasing unto the Lord, I say, Lord, amen, give me that. Amen. It'll be a blessing and a benefit unto me and something that I can share with someone else along the way. Can you say amen? Lord, enrich my life with your presence that I can be a blessing to others along life's way. That I can spread the good news of the gospel. That I can present myself as a vessel that God can use and work through. That's my desire. Touch my lips, Lord, with the hot coals of the altar that I may speak the anointed word of life. Amen. That the hearts and lives of the hearers would be so compelled. Amen. By the presence of God that they would surrender their lives unto the Lord. It's more than wonderful. I don't even know if I know the word to describe how great that God is and his presence and right. magnificent. You know, kids, you say, boy, it's awesome. awesome. Somebody said, do you know what that word means, awesome? I heard somebody, I don't know who it was, they said, the only one deserving of that word is the Lord himself. He is an awesome God. God bless you is my prayers. I tried my best tonight. I appreciate every one of you. We love every one of you. Yes, amen. And I tell you one thing. Church, let me tell you tonight. Amen. If we serve God and worship him, even if they be but a handful, the Lord is here. And that makes it more than a house full. The walls of this church could not contain, amen, the greatness of God. Amen. That's how big he is. Amen. The world itself cannot contain the greatness of God. Praise the Lord. All right, let's go ahead and sing. The altar is always open. If you have trouble and things go wrong, don't give up the battle. It won't last long. Don't let 
ever doubt Jesus, just remember that he cares. Pray on till he answers, and he'll be there. Yes, he'll be there when hope is gone. Although sometimes it seems he waits so long, he knows what's best for you. So remember he cares, hold on till he answers, and he'll be there. Sometimes it's so hard, life brings so much pain, oh, but there is a reason, it's not all in vain. Maybe you can help someone by the cross that you bear. Pray on till he answers and he'll be there. Yes, he'll be there when hope is gone. Although sometimes it seems that he waits so long he knows what's best for you so remember that he cares hold on till he answers and he'll be there now if you have trouble and things go wrong don't give up the battle it won't last long don't ever doubt jesus just remember that he cares pray on till he answers and he'll be Yes, he'll be there when hope is gone. Although sometimes it seems that he waits so long, he knows what's best for you. So remember that he cares. Pray on till he answers. And he'll be there. Sometimes it's so hard. Life brings so much pain. Oh, but there is a reason. It's not all in vain. For maybe you can help someone by the cross that you bear. Hold on till he answers, and he'll be there. Yes, he'll be there when hope is gone. Although sometimes it seems that he waits.